Can't believe I drove past this thing every single day. <laughs> cool. I'm so fucking happy! Oh, that's a chunk of a gear, I think. Oof. A lot of you have watched my videos before, and you know that I'm going to throw a hammer through the windshield. I'm not going to. We're going to take this window out right. I am not going to be throwing a hammer in it. Boom, headshot! <laughs> Boom, headshot! Oh, that worked better than I thought. What's up? It's Casey from Casey's Customs. I just got challenged to a race from Dalton at Pole Barn Garage. So naturally, I went out and bought a second gen Camaro. It's full of rust. It hasn't ran in over 20 years. I know it has no brakes, and I don't even know if it runs and drives, but it was local and it was a pretty good deal. Let's dig in and see if we can't get this thing race ready. March 30th, Electric City Speedway, Butler, Missouri. Whole Barn Garage and friends will be racing Casey's Customs. I'll be running this 77 Capri station wagon and a 150 lap Enduro. The Dale has returned. Anyway, be there or be square, Electric City Speedway, Butler, Missouri, March 30th, around 4 o'clock. I think I'm gonna try and buy it. Can't believe I drove past this thing every single day. <laughs> Here's the big problem. Here's why she stopped driving. Our leaf spring came through the floor. Like they do on all of these damn Camaros. Let's we'll to fix that. Cool. She's bored. I think he said 30 over. Headers. It's got a cam. But he started taking stuff off because he was going to pull this out and put it in another car. But that's not what we're doing, baby. We're going to stick it back in there and see what happens. Like the old Chilton book. It's soaking wet, but I can still read it. So this is probably gonna be helpful. Take that, ants! You son of a bitch! All right. We got her all cleaned up. Looks a lot better. Killed a couple hundred ants. We are back on the 1978 Camaro. If you didn't see my second channel video, I picked this up a couple days ago because I am going to be racing Pole Barn Garage down in Butler, Missouri in like 10 days. And you cannot have altered suspension or an altered motor. And everything I have is airbagged or turbocharged. So I need to find a car that was kind of stockish that we could turn into a race car. I found this local here in town. It's about two miles from my house. I actually drive past this car every day. I just didn't know it was there. So I picked it up for a thousand bucks. It's pretty nice. Has a running and driving motor, but I just saw a video of it. I don't think it's ran in a very long time. And we got a lot of rust issues. Currently, the leaf spring has came through the floor. So that's, that's nice. nice. Other than that, it's a pretty solid car. What I want to start doing first in this video before we start tackling the rust is I want to hear this motor run. So I got an oil change kit for it. I got some new spark plugs, stuff like that. So let's dig in. Funny story, the other day when I bought this, I started stripping all the stuff out of it. Basically nothing was bolted down. It was just kind of all sitting in there. And I started getting attacked by ants. So I came in and hosed it out real good. So the ants should be gone now, but you can really see how nice this leaf spring situation is. Somebody started putting floors in it and they actually use some thick plate steel. I thought this was sheet metal when I bought it. This is really heavy duty shit actually. So it's not too bad. I'm probably not gonna try and tackle that, but we definitely need to address this before we take it out and start racing it. Gonna be a lot. The trunk's actually nice. I assume the trunk would be rotted out since the leaf springs were coming through the floor, but it's not too bad. It's actually better than I was expecting, at least for that. Motor, however, is good. He sent me a video of it running. It looks okay. He actually started unplugging some stuff on it because he was going to pull it out for another project, but he kind of stopped halfway. I think all my wiring is still attached. He did undo all of the spark plug wires and started to take one of the manifolds off. So we needed to redo that. But before I do any of that, I want to get the oil changed and then we're going to put it back down on the ground and we'll change our spark plugs. They all look okay. It's not too bad. But while I got the wires off, why wouldn't you just go ahead and do that? So that's the plan. Let's uh, dig in. And apparently my phone is ringing right now as well.
Okay, we got the oil changed. Um, I got the spark plugs out. I would love to just throw the new spark plugs in and then throw my wires on. Unfortunately, they just yanked all the wires off the distributor and I have no way to tell what orientation anything is in. So we're gonna have to pop the cap off, turn the motor over to top dead center and then put them back on, which is a real bitch. I wish there was a mark on there, but I don't see any. So yeah, we gotta do it the old fashioned way, which is all right, it's not the end of the world but that would have been a lot easier. <laughs> All right, let's do that, see what happens. So we'll pop that off, throw a battery in it, and because uh, uh, the key's broken it, the ignition is broken it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, so we do not have a key, but we still have an ignition down below. Now, I don't know how to do this. I've never done this before. I certainly have never done this before. Let me put it that way. I had to Google, start doing a bunch of research and looking up forums to figure out how to do this. In the stuff I've read, uh, other people in their youths figured out you can stick a screwdriver in it and hotwire it, and it basically bypasses the ignition. I didn't know that until I read it. <laughs> Richard's a cop. <laughs> also, what's the what's the statute of limitations? Seven years? I was a kid. So anyways, all you gotta do is stick a screwdriver in there and you're basically acting like the way the ignition turns. You just can slide it. Just like that. Is that a fuel pump? Why does it have an electric fuel pump? It has a mechanical pump. Well, we're gonna have to do some more uh, investigating into that. This has a mechanical pump on it, so I don't know why there's a fuel pump running. I don't see it underneath it. It can't be in the tank. Anyways, we gotta slide it one more time and it'll turn it over. Just like that. All right, let's try and find top dead center now. We are gonna have to put a pin in finding top dead center on number one. I cannot hotwire it and get up here to check. It's just impossible, there's no way. I don't see any timing marks anywhere on the crank and nothing, I can't find anything. None of these pulleys have any marks on them. So I'm kind of flying blind here. I really need my dad to come down and him help me while I am firing it up or vice versa. I can show him how to hotwire and then I check. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Either way, that's fine. We can put a pin in that until tomorrow because he's not answering his phone, the freaking piece of shit. We do have something troubling though. While I was messing around waiting on him, I pulled the transmission dipstick and it literally is bone dry. I don't mean there's a drop at the bottom, I mean bone dry. So that's a little concerning. These transmissions pans actually have a drain on them. So we might drain it real quick and see what we're working with. I don't love that. The shifter is also unhooked. He said it was running and driving. Uh, he was gonna pull it out to use this motor in another project, so maybe that's why, but yeah, that, that doesn't make me happy. Zero transmission fluid and the shifter being all unhooked. I mean, not only unhooked, but the lever is off of the shifter. So it's not like they just pop the cable off. It looks like somebody actually took the lever off. So that's a little concerning. So let's jack it back up and take a look at the transmission fluid. We're gonna go ahead and drain it. We're gonna have to add a bunch to it anyway since it's not even registering. So yeah, let's do that real quick. What do you think? It's pretty damn straight car. I know, right? I only paid a thousand bucks. Thousand bucks? I don't know. Not bad. Don't look too oh, Yeah, well, the leaf spring came through the floor. <laughs> Coming in there to say hi. She's just talking to you is all it is. <laughs> yeah, it came through good. And I'm... That one there is probably not very good. That one probably either. came through first and they fixed it. And this one came through and they said, fuck it, I ain't working on this thing anymore. That's Looks fine. like the same guy that did this. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah definitely. I tell you what, though, this up here, this is plate. I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought it was like roofing sheet metal. No, it's like eighth inch. It's thick. Okay. Not over there isn't, but this is. Yeah. 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 I got, uh, I talked to the. you're going to put a roll bar in this thing then. Yeah. Got a full roll cage going up to the front and then it goes back. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to the boys at the metal shop. We got some quarter inch plate coming. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah. The trunk's actually not rusted. Couldn't believe that. Figured the trunk would go before the leaf spring, but apparently not. 
Yeah, she's cherry. I mean, shit. Take her to the car show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the top dead center done. Number one spark plug points at the number one, which is great. That's nice. That means it's usually stock because that's kind of where they are from the factory. So that's good to go. Naturally, I forgot the wires at the house. So we're gonna move to something else. I drained the transmission fluid. Looks like only about a quarter two came out, which is not great. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the pan off now and we'll get a look at it and see what's going on in there. A little nervous to be completely honest with you, but I don't know, let's find out. This doesn't look promising. We got a lot of clutch material in here. It's real thick. Oh, yeah. She smells burnt up, too. Mm. It's an old car. You know, you can't start crying yet, but that is not great a lot of this was just stuck at the bottom of the pan fluid looked okay this is me scraping the shit off the bottom that's why it looks so gray now but oh boys i tell you yeah like the whole bottom quarter inch is just thick with clutch material yeah yeah we're gonna change the filter for sure let's get the filter out and see how bad it looks just pray for no metal chunks <laughs> Well, good news. Filter actually doesn't look that bad. It's not perfect by any means, but I don't see any metal chunks. So it's a little worse for wear as far as, oh no, that's a piece of metal. That's definitely a piece of metal. Uh-oh, okay, might have spoke too soon. I mean, it's an old transmission. Obviously we knew that going in. I just don't want a blown transmission. <laughs> Look at how thick all that shit is. Holy crap. I don't know if this has been changed before. Is that another piece of metal? No. Uh, maybe. Oh, that's a chunk of a gear, I think. Oof. That might be gear material. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not great. That's not great. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Oof. We're going to find out the hard way. Eh, it might have been changed before because there's RTV on it. Oof, that's even worse. That's even worse. Yeah, that's RTV. So it's been changed before. <laughs> yeah. We might be uh, showing up to this race without a couple gears. We'll have to see what happens. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up. I'm done for the day. Tomorrow we'll get a filter and get our wires and uh, hopefully hear it run. Ugh. The next day. All right. I got the transmission filter put on. I got a new gasket and seal put on. I got that all done the other day because as you can see, the Mustang went to its new owner's house. So the shop is even more empty than it was before. I mean, it doesn't feel right not having four cars in here. I used to have five cars in here for the longest time. I would get two over there and then one here and then one there and uh, worked out pretty good. So we're gonna have to put something there. <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyways, I got all that done. I need to top off the transmission fluid. Me and dad figured out where top dead center was on number one. So I got my plugs now. I'm gonna get the plugs put on. And then I want to see if we can get it fired up. I'd really like to hear it run. And then we'll probably strip some more of the interior out. Maybe start cutting on the floor. I finally got my plate in too. I got a bunch of quarter inch plates. So we're going to remake all that. I don't know if I'm going to get all that done in this video. What I might do is get it running, jack it up, and make sure we can put it in gear. Because that transmission fluid did not smell great. But I don't know. I don't know. Let's worry about the engine first. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's get these plugs on and uh, see if we can't make her go kaput, kaput, kaput. That would make me very happy if we hear it run. So let's do that. Okay, I got the new wires in, or I got the new plugs in, got wires in. 
I want to make sure I can hear it run before I start giving it gas. I don't even know if I have a tank here. We'll, we'll make something if we have to, but let's see what happens. Timing could be off, too. We don't know yet. We're going to find out. I'm going to figure out what that is. Sweet! Let's give it some gas, see what happens. Alright. We got a little bit of gas, not a lot of gas, but a little bit. Let's uh, fix a couple hose leaks and we'll try it again. <laughs> Oh, my heart is racing. All right. I got it jacked up. It's not going to run me over, hopefully. Let's see what happens. I had to be out of hit a little too hard there. I 100% saw this moving. Hold on. Let me move the camera. Okay, we know she runs. Seems like it drives pretty good. I have to order a shifter part though because I got no way to control the shifter right now. It doesn't even have a lever on the shifter, so I can't even move it by my hand. So we gotta order that. What I wanna do is get these door panels stripped out and I kinda wanna figure out where the electric fuel pump is because I don't know, I can't find it. I hear it, it's over here somewhere, I'm just not sure where. Maybe it's up here, no, not up here. So we need to figure that out. Then what we'll do, we'll start cutting some of our floor out. We're gonna run out of time here pretty quickly, but uh, I would like to get it stripped more and figure out the fuel pump and then maybe start cutting some of this rust out and figure out how the hell we're gonna fix the old leaf spring coming through the <laughs> floor. That's, it's gonna be a bitch to get it to go down, ugh, to be honest with you. We'll figure something out. All right, let's do all that. got to take the headliner out. I took the trim piece off and got covered in mouse shit. So this is going to be great. Oh. Oh, the mice got into the cassettes. <laughs> they chewed up the cassette tapes. Cool. That's fun. Oh. Oh, gross, gross, gross. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, that was disgusting. Oh, that was disgusting. It looks like I got it all. Dude. Good times, good times. Oh, shit. it touched my arm. Oh, no, 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 let go, let go, let go. Oh, 
really should move the camera. Look. Oh, we're going straight outside of that. Oh. I'll be honest with you. I have seen mice and rats use a lot of interesting things for bedding. I've never seen a cassette tape in mouse bedding. That is new for me. I got everything out of here except a couple pillars. And I still gotta get the rear package tray. But other than that, she's pretty much stripped. We need to get that windshield out too. I think I'm gonna run a Lexan windshield or I might put uh, like, I, think, I can't remember what it is, like hog wire, I think they call it, across it. Pig wire, I don't know. Basically like metal mesh goes across here so that, uh, you know, shit doesn't go in there at you. The thing is, we're gonna drive two hours, so I'd like to have some sort of protection. So I don't know, we're gonna figure that out. Either way, this has to come out. So yeah, let's keep on keeping on. Ugh. All right, got everything completely stripped. Very happy about that. Also got it vacuumed out. No more mouse shit, at least I think there's no more mouse shit. I'm gonna go ahead and get this windshield out now. Then I'm going to drop the tank. I was gonna start cutting, but I don't know if there's fuel in that tank. I'm not a big fan of making sparks if there's gasoline around. So we're gonna drop the tank after we get the windshield out. And then we're probably gonna call it a video because uh, it is late and Richard's already gonna be yelling at me. And these clips suck. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's go. Now, a lot of you have watched my videos before and you know that I'm gonna throw a hammer through the windshield. I'm not going to. We're gonna take this window out right. I am not gonna be throwing a hammer in it. We need to just take it out, get all the glue out of it, take it out in one piece. It'll be a hell of a lot easier. Hammer's going over here. Not gonna happen. Now you think I'm tricking you. I'm gonna throw a turbo in it because sometimes I'll throw a turbo in the window. Not doing that either. We're not throwing anything in this one. I gotta go find my tools. <laughs> Boom, headshot! Boom, headshot! Oh, that was better than I thought. It's not light though. I'll take that. Okay. God damn, I never threw a tire before. Yeah! All right, what the hell? Old habits die hard. <laughs> okay, now we gotta get the window out. <laughs> Sweet. That makes me very happy. Also, this bracket is what I need for my throttle cable. And also it holds the, uh, what is it called? The TB cable on the uh, transmission. I thought this was missing and I was gonna have to order one. Well, sure enough, it was down inside the vent. So once I got the vent out of the way, I found that, that's awesome. I, didn't, I did not wanna have to order one of those. <laughs> we are going to drop the tank now because I wanna see what that looks like. Also, like I said earlier, I do not want to do any cutting if there is, you know, maybe 10 gallons in it. I have no idea. The gas gauge doesn't work. So let's drop the tank real quick. I am covered in dirt. Probably going to wrap it up after we do that. Let's go. Ugh, the amount of rust that just fell all over me is... Almost impressive. There it goes. Come on, baby. Screwed into the sock. 
that back giant hole right there yep that'll do it we need to go with the race tank anyway but uh now we're definitely gonna go with the race tank <laughs> i'm gonna go drain this piece of shit look how much crap fell out this floor was actually clean <laughs> oh my god oh shit <laughs> All right, let's fire up one more time before we call it a video, because I want to hear it again. I might actually hook up that bracket real quick. That'll make it a lot easier. All right, let's hear it run one more time. One more time. We got a lot of work to do though. <laughs> All right, so incredibly happy this thing runs. Looks like our transmission is good, at least with the little testing I've done. Still don't have brakes, <laughs> don't have a gas tank anymore, need a fuel pump. The fuel pump I have is a piece of shit. It looks like it's 30 years old. It was screwed in basically to the side of the tank. I've never even seen that before. So we need to order some parts. Here's the bad news. The race takes place in one week from today. Now, I'm recording this on Saturday. The video will go up on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I'm racing that Saturday that the Tuesday, that the Tuesday video comes out. So, uh, I need to put a rush order on the stuff I have coming. The good news is my roll cage and stuff I already ordered a couple days ago. I should have all of that in the next day or two. So we can really get in here, start fixing rust and adding a lot of plate to this thing and then get our roll cage in there. I did an eight point roll cage. so. That should be good. I am worried about the brakes and obviously gas tank and all that. Uh, I should be able to get the gas tank pretty quickly. But yeah, definitely gonna just, you know, run it all the way to the wire. He told me we should race probably two or three weeks ago. Definitely should have got a car a lot sooner than I got it. Uh, but I didn't want to spend like five grand on something that I know Dalton is gonna, you know, T-bone me into a wall or something. I wasn't gonna do that, so I wanted Something rear wheel drive, something V8, something kind of the style of my channel. This is pretty much a Casey's Customs car, even whether we were doing the race or not. So yeah, worked out pretty good, but we have a lot of work to do. I'm basically just gonna put a hold on all the projects in the shop and just rush on this thing the next week and try and get it race ready. So if that sounds like a good time, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna have a lot more videos of this coming up and then we'll have videos of me and him racing. It's gonna be a good time. It should be a lot of fun. For the coolest merchandise on the planet, go to caseyscustoms.com. We got a bunch of new merch in, new hats, and a new design by Let's Cut Some Shit Design. It's doing very well right now, so people are really liking it. Go grab those while you can. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, comment, all the good shit they tell you the end of videos, and check out some more of my other videos. Peace! I love you.